Hello and welcome to the Met Office 10 day trend. British summers are notoriously variable from year to year with or without global warming. They always have been, they always will be. And much of that variability depends on where the jet stream sits. And this summer so far, the jet stream has been often defaulting to the south of the UK. That means the UK has been sitting on the cool side of the jet stream and we've often seen low pressure, which normally sits to the north of the jet stream. Indeed, at the time of recording, an area of low pressure has been bringing some very unsettled weather, some unseasonably low temperatures and outbreaks of rain across much of the UK through Monday, Tuesday and into the Wednesday. Now, if you were to look at the model output from a few days ago, the signs were relatively optimistic for later this week into the weekend this area of high pressure would build in, the jet stream starting to push to the north of the UK. And, broadly speaking, that is the theme over the next few days. But there have been some subtle shifts. And the main shift has been that the jet stream is pushing even further north than previously thought. And that amplification in the jet stream allows this area of high pressure not to topple in over the UK, pushing the low over to the, towards the continent and moving the south shifted jet stream out of the way. Well, what's happening is that higher pressure is building further north, in fact, to the north of the UK. And that means that it doesn't topple in over the UK and doesn't move this branch of the jet stream out of the way. And what we end up with on Saturday with this branch of the jet stream well to the north and unable to move this branch of the jet stream out of the way, what we end up with is something called a trapped vortex. So this circulation in the upper winds, the jet stream sitting on top of the UK and an upper area of low pressure in place for the weekend that's unlikely to move along for a couple of days. And it then leaves a gap for this branch of the jet stream to move in for the start of next week, bringing another low pressure and continuing the theme of the summer so far. So a subtle shift that more amplified jet stream through the weekend means that the circulation over the UK, an upper area of low pressure, is unable to move along and we keep things unsettled for the time being. But not quite as unsettled, at least for the next few days, as we saw at the start of the week with some very wet weather during the last couple of days, especially for the northeast of Scotland. Now that's tending to fizzle out through Thursday morning, although it stays grey and damp in places. And there's another band of rain that's going to sit across central parts through Thursday as well. Some sharp showers across East Wales into the Midlands, for example. But to the south, some warm sunny spells. And for northwest Scotland, Northern Ireland also some warm sunshine coming through. So drier and brighter for many, but not for all on Thursday. Likewise on Friday, well, we're going to see the cloud and rain across central parts sink south overnight Thursday into the start of Friday. And this area of rain moving to the North Sea, so clear spells for Scotland and Northern Ireland. A fresher night for many compared with recent nights. But the chance of some heavier rain for a time in the south coast that originates over the continent and just, uh, well, starts to move north for a time. Then into Friday itself, it's likely that this heavy rain will... Um, be their first thing and it will come and go through the day increasingly focused towards the far southeast whilst a zone of more unstable air affects the far southwest. Meanwhile elsewhere actually a drier day albeit relatively cloudy, relatively cool for the time of year. Temperatures in most places mid to high teens, perhaps 20, 21 in the south. The air is coming from the north by this stage. One or two showers for northern Scotland as well. Northern Ireland, but otherwise many places drier and brighter. And you can see on the rain totals map, this is the six hour accumulations through Friday afternoon. Very little rain across the country on Friday for a change, but there is this area of rain over the continent and that could cause things to be quite soggy by the end of Friday in the far southeast, some uncertainty about the extent to which that affects the southeast. And likewise, I mentioned those heavy showers across parts of the southwest, and there is the risk of some very heavy rain for a time very locally across southwestern parts. And you can see it's focused uh, inland across parts of Cornwall, so somewhere like Exmoor could see 50 millimetres of rain or more in the space of six hours. But then heading into the weekend, and on the face of it, 
higher pressure is in control, that higher pressure sitting to the north and extending a ridge across the UK. But I mentioned that trapped vortex, that circulation in the jet stream that's just stuck over the UK and this upper area of low pressure. So what happens when you've got a surface area of high pressure and an upper area of low pressure? Well, effectively, you've got a vacuum in the upper atmosphere and air rushing up to fill that vacuum. Essentially, you've got rising air and some sharp showers. This is how Saturday afternoon looks. Showers for many places, especially towards the west, but actually some places will avoid those showers and stay dry through the day. A lot of cloud cover and still relatively cool for the time of year. This is how the temperatures will compare to average on Saturday. It's especially cool towards the northeast, several degrees below the July average. Fast forward to Sunday and temperatures are a little closer to average for the time of year. It's warming up slightly. It's certainly going to feel more humid in the south when the sun comes through. 23 Celsius or so, that's not far from average for the time of year. Still relatively cool in the northeast. Still a lot of cloud on the map and still some showers. And what you will notice if you look further east is this spiraling band of cloud and rain in the computer model from the Met Office. Well, that shifted east, but in other model output, for example, on the American model and the European model shown in these two panels here. It's got that rain much closer to the UK. This is the total rain through Saturday and Sunday. Met Office model showing showers across the UK generally, that rain staying to the east. But from the European and the American models, well, they have the rain much closer in to the UK. We don't need more rain in the northeast of Scotland, of course. We've seen plenty over the last couple of days, so hopefully we won't see too much more this weekend. But it is looking slightly more likely, looking at the majority of the model output, that we will see at least some rain, for example, on Sunday, coming into northeastern parts of the UK, rather than bright spells and showers. Either way, that is going to eventually move away and there'll be a gap, a brief respite for a time before once more the south shifted jet stream sends another area of low pressure in from the southwest. Like I say, continuing the theme of the summer so far with the jet stream to the south, we're on the cool side. This is the most likely weather pattern for Monday the 15th of July, the halfway point of summer, St. Swithin's Day, and low pressure there to the southwest. Outbreaks of rain or showers coming up from the southwest, temperatures below average for the time of year. Fast forward to Tuesday, that low is moving through still, lots of showers, longer spells of rain and temperatures suppressed for the time of year. By the time we get to the end of the week, increased levels of uncertainty. Now this is coming up as the most likely weather pattern for Thursday the 18th of July. Higher pressure building across southern parts, lower pressure heading to the north, the jet stream heading to the north. but. There's an alternative scenario, which is coming out as less likely, and it's showing higher pressure kept at bay, and still lots of showers and lower pressure over the UK. But by the time we get to Saturday, well, that scenario is coming out as the most likely by this stage. Higher pressure kept towards the southwest, lower pressure over the UK, south shifted jet stream. Saturday is still showing this as a lower probability scenario. There's only a fraction of a percent difference in terms of those two scenarios. So which one do we believe? Do we believe the ridge of higher pressure extending in or do we believe briefly higher pressure before lower pressure and south shifted jet stream return? Well, on balance, given the computer model's performance through the summer so far, as meteorologists, we would suggest following the more pessimistic scenarios, lower pressure, more showery conditions. And that's because if you look at the outputs a few days ago for what the most likely pressure anomaly would be for next week, well, they were showing that higher pressure was more likely to extend across the UK. But then a day or two later and that higher pressure influence waned and it was saying lower pressure was more likely to start to come in from the west and the most recent model output suggests lower pressure and that higher pressure much more diminished. So it seems, and this has been the theme of the summer so far, when the computer models suggest higher pressure, more settled weather in seven to ten days time, you get closer to the event and that signal tends to disappear. And the atmosphere seems to, at this moment in time, always find a way to default to lower pressure, jet stream, 
to the south and so on. And so, yeah, we can hope for higher pressure and more settled weather if that's what you like. Not everyone does like it, of course, but we can hope for that. But expect, given the state of the summer so far, the opposite. Uh, of course, we'll keep you updated right here at the Met Office and uh, make sure you subscribe to YouTube so you never miss one of those updates. Bye-bye.